Okay, we had a late start to the morning. We were supposed to be scuba diving today, um, but we were the only people, so it ended up being canceled. So we just ate breakfast, drank some coffee, and hung out a little bit before we're heading to the store, which we are at right now to get us groceries for a few days before we drive over to Coral Bay. The Dolphin Market. Let's go ahead and get some food. I forgot to do B-roll as I was getting groceries, so here's our B-roll. We're on the road again, and I'm trying not to get us killed again. straight up and down you're doing like these almost 180 turns while going straight up but the island itself is only about seven miles long I believe six or seven miles long but it just takes a while to get places because you're just on these crazy roads all of the time I actually read that the US Virgin Islands are the last US territory to still drive on the left hand side of the road. So we're getting used to that as well. But I think we're almost there. We came and ate some lunch at the Salty Mongoose with some pizza. Salty mongoose. It was loud most of the time until the power went out, which seems like is a common occurrence based off of everyone's reactions to it. Um, we did learn that the reason that they just let you pour your own rum is because the rum is cheaper than the mixers. Don't know how true that is, so we'll have to test it next time we go to the store. But for now, we are going to. For now, <laughs> we are going to drive to our place that we are staying a little bit south of Coral Bay and check it out. It is a tent, so we'll see. We checked in at our place and kind of just dropped things off and we're currently driving to Lamashore Beach. There's a big and a little Lamashore, so we'll see which one we're gonna go to. Um, it sounds like both of them are pretty nice, but it's just kind of an off-roading area. We are gonna do a tour of our yurt a little bit later, but first to Lamisher. Oh. Don't get stuck. We made it to Great Lamisher. Aaron doesn't want to keep going to Little Lamisher, which I think is nicer, but it's more off-roading. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Well, I wanted to make it an effort. We tried to go to the small or little Lamershire Beach, but uh, it got a little too rocky. I was a little too nervous and decided to bow out. We're back at big Lamershire Beach or great Lamershire Beach. Not so much a beach, more rocks than anything, but it's nice. We'll test out the waters, maybe go for a dip. Beach. <laughs> now, I really don't know what we're gonna do, but it started to rain and we're gonna head back to the little campsite and figure it out from there. So we made it to the campsite. Let's go ahead and take a quick tour. So this place um, was bought by a couple who moved from Connecticut. Um, we are actually the first people staying this season, which is pretty cool. Um, but we got upgraded to the yurt because of that. We are supposed to be on a tent on this platform over here, um, but there's been a lot of rain. 
and no one has been here so they upgraded us to the yurt which is nicer and bigger so check it out it is obviously super spacious we are just going to be using this bed and we've kind of sprawled ourselves out elsewhere um but otherwise like five people could sleep in this yurt like pretty comfortably um we have lights batteries we even have a fan and a fly swatter this is where we're actually staying but there is a cooking area as well which hopefully we can show you before it starts raining again Ooh, there's a little thing for disc golf i can't say i'm very good at disc golf but i might try it at some point okay, so here we have the communal area we got hammocks we have tables a cookware and grill and then this is just a covered indoor area that has drinking water we have coffee makers coffee mugs there's a fridge over here and a pretty cool outdoor shower Apparently the previous owners did not have any covering on that, so they would just they would just shower with people around. Something just fell off a tree. And last but not least, there is a toilet with a sink. It's actually pretty nice. So, um Overall, pretty cute place. You know, everything's spaced out a little bit, but it's essentially like a glamping, and there's not very many reasonable accommodations here in St. John, but this is one of them, um, and it's a little something different, so it'll be fun. So, it looks pretty overcast still, so we decided just to hang around camp today. Uh, and it's already late in the day. We're gonna play some games, but I have been absolutely annihilated by these little bugs no see -ums? yeah they they call them no see -ums, but they're absolutely terrible they Look are at my lap. so i'm staying close to the candle i'm using lots of off and hoping that they stay away from me but we're gonna play some games and we're gonna cook some dinner and just hang out for the rest of the evening